Okay, another video. Here's a <laughs> here's a neat little bike here that I picked up actually not too long ago. Um, always, but anyway, uh, here we have, and yes, it is in my bedroom. <laughs> This is my 1984 XR80. Um, I picked up for actually only $75, which is unfucking believable. Um, oh, let's see, I picked it up maybe oh, a couple years ago. Anyway, <coughs> so one day I was at the dump dropping a bunch of stuff off and I happen to look at all over and I seen a dumpster and I seen a, the front end of a motorcycle. Front wheel and fender and bars sticking out of the air. So I wandered over and asked the guy with the skitter if he could pull it out for me and he said, sure, why not? So I pulled it out, or he pulled it out, I should say, and yeah, I know the seat's fucking horrible, but anyway, super trap exhaust. And uh, so anyways, he pulls it out, I look at it and I said, I said, how much did, can I have it? And he goes, well, you have to pay for it. I says, well, how much? And he goes, uh, give me 75 bucks. And I thought, I don't even care if it runs. I know I can get it to run, not a problem. So I loaded on the, on the trailer, get it home. And, uh, sure enough, the engine was seized. It didn't turn over at all. It was, uh, it was locked up solid. And what had happened was, uh, because the air box is missing, obviously you can see my little cane and pod filter thing on there. Um, it had gotten water down the carburetor and into the engine and seized up the piston. So what I did was I borrowed my neighbor's heat gun and I heated all the fins up, like right here. I heated all in here with a heat gun and poured diesel and ATF, automatic transmission fluid, down the cylinder. And then put the bike in fifth gear and rocked it back and forth a whole bunch of times. And luckily it broke free after I actually towed it down the street with my three-wheeler and it broke loose and started puking stuff everywhere so I got it home put the plug in it gassed it up and it tried to start so I bump started it a second time behind my trike and it fired up and smoked and coughed and rattled a whole bunch and eventually it kept on going and then I just rode it all the rest of that uh, day I noticed I did a compression test on it and the compression was only about 90 psi what I did because I didn't have the money for rings or anything, and this motor's never been apart since I've got it running again, is I got myself a can of, and this may sound like a strange thing to do, and I wouldn't recommend doing it unless you know what you're doing, is um, I got myself a can of penetrating oil, like Liquid Wrench or Move It or you know whatever your favorite penetrating oil is, as long as it's flammable. Fired the bike up with the air cleaner off, and, you know, gave it some gas, and sprayed the penetrating oil down the carburetor and kept on running it and doing that while it was running on gas and while spraying the penetrating oil. And what that was doing was help to loosen up the stuck piston rings that it had because the cylinder was pretty garbled. And I did that a few times and, you know, let it clear out, do it again, let it clear out, do it again. And eventually it, came, it started to come back. I noticed it had more and more power every time I did that. Um, so... I continued to do that and then I took a compression test again. I was up to about 155 PSI from like 100. So, and I mean, you know, that's, that's freaking great. So, you know, the bike runs actually very, very well. I mean, it's, uh, it's very loud because of the super trap exhaust it has on it. Oh yeah. Anyway, you know, I think it's got 11 rings or 12 rings in there. It, it barks pretty good. It sounds like a 250. It's loud, but you know, it runs good. It doesn't even smoke, like, at all. The only things that are really wrong with it is obviously my seat's fucking trashed because look at it. The gas tank, the biggest dent is right there. You can't even see it. That's the paint on one side. Paint sticker on the other side is really nice. Um, the only things that are really wrong with it is the clutch slips and needs replaced. Um... So I looked into it and it looks like at some point someone had put an XR100 clutch in it because the XR80 clutch has three friction discs and two steel discs in the clutch basket. The XR100 clutch has, <coughs> excuse me, anyways, the XR100 clutch has 
four fiber discs and three steel discs. This has that set up in there. So somebody at one point put an XR100 clutch in there. Um, I didn't know that was compatible or not, but apparently it is. And I talked to several other people, and yes, you can do that. So if any of you guys out there were wondering if, uh, you know, your little <laughs> shitty three-plate clutch just wouldn't hold your weight or whatever, or just slips all the time, throw a 100 clutch, and it was some barnet plates and heavy-duty springs. That's what this is getting in it. There's going to be a video of that, too. Um, other than that, the bike is... Fucking people, man. Other than that, the freaking bike is it's straight. The bars aren't even bent. Uh, the clutch lever is... Uh, I don't know why the hell there's yellow tape wrapped around it, but... That's actually off a Honda CX500 street bike because this bike was actually missing the clutch lever and I just happened to be at the uh, at the boneyard for bikes there and picked that up for five bucks. Other than that, like, you know, it's, you can, you can hear that exhaust kind of and it's got, it's got Mondo compression still. So I store all my engines at top dead center, by the way, um, you know. When I'm letting them sit for you know extended periods of time, I let my engine set at top dead center. No pressure on the valve springs. You know, a little shot of oil down the cylinder, just let them sit. That's all I've ever done for years and always had good results. Um, bike needs new tires because they're cracked and dry rotted. Needs new chain and sprockets and a few other bits and pieces. But hey, for 75 bucks, and I'm only into this bike for maybe 35 bucks, I can't complain, man. You know what I mean? I mean, that super trap alone is worth like $300, and with that nice big fat head pipe like that, you know what I mean? Obviously, it's not the factory one. I guess it was a kit that somebody put on. And The other nice thing about it is when they got rid of it, they put a new ignition coil, points a condenser, uh, and a new spark plug and wire, so I mean, that was really cool. Uh, NGK, obviously. So, yeah, that's my 1984... Honda XR80E model. Um, ER, whatever, I've heard a whole bunch of different stories about that. But anyhow, yeah, it's missing plastics and whatever. But, you know, just thought I'd share that with you guys. Anyway, rock on. Take it easy. Comment, like, subscribe, whatever the fuck you want.